right, so I'm going to record this video about uh, what is the project. So when I first started teaching, you ask students to do a project, they bring in those poster boards, right? Students do it last minute, you hold it, it's still wet from glue, things are falling down, major typos, right? And so my Spanish teacher gave me an opportunity to do uh, a video project. And I thought, well, that's amazing because I can, I can record myself and delete it and put forth my best representation of my knowledge. So number one, uh, step number one is partnership. You're going to pick your own partner, but I would choose wisely, and I'll show you guys an email um, about how to choose your partner. If I pick your partner, basically I'll put your name on a piece of paper, I pick from the hat, and I randomly pick two, you and someone else, Okay, uh, you and your partner will get extra credit, it's about 5% of the project. Um, the great thing about new partnerships is you learn to work with people who uh, you have some expectations of them. So you think your friend can be the best project partner, and you find out, wow, they're not my friend anymore. <laughs> and that is a possibility. My goal is not to create hostility. My goal is to not artificially create conflict. But I think most important about this project is collaboration. It's not really about the content. You learn that too. Step number two, you guys are going to show me evidence and knowledge of the math content itself. It's all about the math. If you can have a great looking project and then you don't know any math, you're going to get a D on the project. Step number three is math accuracy. <clears throat> accuracy, uh, I want both accuracy and precision. Okay, The precision means there's no waste of time in your video projects. Um, you're explaining clearly. You're not taking extra time. But also you have enough information for us to understand that you know it. Step number four, you're going to be editing videos. <clears throat> you're going to edit a video that takes around three minutes. Uh, now, the great thing with technology is the videos I'm going to show you, they didn't have smartphones with that capability like iMovie 2018. Basically, you're going to get a video. You can take pictures. Uh, we're going to hear you, see you, and then you're just going to upload it to YouTube. And then I just have two links. I'm going to have a YouTube link and a capstone reflection. When I click on it, I want it to be flawless. I want to open it. I want to see it and read it. The best thing about a project is I can open up all your links, your capstone and your YouTube link, and I can see all those in four minutes. Step number six is about details. <clears throat> on your project paper that you have in front of you, I have little boxes. So as you go along, I have little check marks. You just put check marks with me. Uh, one thing I encourage you to do is take this piece of paper when you guys have a finished product in two months is just actually sit down and grade yourself. The worst thing you can do is not look at this piece of paper that I just passed out and you just grade yourself, ah, I'm perfect, this is an A project. My expectations of you are different than what you might think. How do I grade projects with partners? Um, this project is going to be worth about 10% of your grade equivalent to three quizzes or all of your homeworks or about one and a half tests. Now, I've been in that situation before where you, you, you're stuck with someone who doesn't know how to work. You put in three hours, they put in three minutes. So, I'm going to give you a score, a team grade. Let's look at Bart and Lisa. And let's just say out of 125 points, you guys score a D on the project. If you turn in a junky project, math is wrong, you turn it in, I'm going to give you a D. We feel bad for you. You take the 75 points, and you have an adult conversation. How do we split it up? Lisa did most of the work. Lisa takes the maximum, 100%. Bart says, you know what, I agree. It was my bad. I didn't meet with you at the park. I didn't turn in that paper on time. I wasn't there to help you. Bart gets the leftover points. You get now a D product video, but Lisa gets A for her grade. Lisa and Hol uh, Marge and Homer uh, score 118 points out of 125. I think that's higher than 91%. And they split the points evenly because they said, you know what? Every step of the way, I was helping you and Gina with you. You can split up your grade. Now, you both have to agree. If you guys both can't agree, then I'll come in as your third-party neutral person, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to the evidence. So don't wait till two days before the project's due. Tell me like next week when you're like, wow, our first deadline, this person doesn't even come to school, this person's not responding to their text, 
Um, basically, this person's rolling you off of the project. Some tips on your projects. Are you guys meeting some deadlines that I have on your paper? Can we hear you clearly? The worst thing is you spent all this time preparing and you record your video and you get home, you upload it, and it sounds really bad. Can we see your work clearly? Did you double check your work? Double checking your work is not coming to me. You have you, you have each other, you have your notes, okay? I'm, I'm there to help you, but it might be frustrating is I might just ask you more questions. Um, you guys can come in times when I'm free and you guys create a dedicated time to work. And so I'm signing this project two weeks from spring break, so you guys actually have, you can meet up for spring break if you like. Uh, later, we're gonna grade a student example. I'm gonna show you guys one of these projects, and we're gonna use our scoring rubrics, and we're all gonna come up with a grade. And it'll be interesting to see what you think it is and what I think, what I gave it. Here's your email from a student, nine minutes before their projects were due. I called them desperate student mystering. I know you told us many times to choose the right partner. I give you thanks for that. I learned my lesson so far, and I'm truly grateful for that. This is my fault because you told us not to choose friends as partners because someone who, uh, but someone who works hard. I did a mistake again, so they must have done it the first semester if I gave them a project then, and then the second semester they picked you know who as my video partner again. Like the other video, I had to do it all on my own. I should receive all the credits because she didn't help me with anything. I asked her to do the capstone, which she never did. And I can't do it now. The point is, I hope I get full credit, but I also know I don't want her to know. I show you this email because it's, this is a reality, right? Two months from the project deadline, you're looking at Mr. Ang, this is a piece of cake. I'm, I'm, I'm awesome at these things, okay? Thoughts, plans, and executions are all different 